Hello, it's me, Harley J. Today we're going to be making brownies. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be really fun. It's one of my favorite recipes for making brownies. It's my own recipe created from scratch. So let's go. Alright, so first step, um, what I'm going to do is I have some flowers. So I have two flowers. I'm, not, I'm, going, to use, I'm going to use this. Uh, this be, I don't know what this flower is, so I'm not going to use it. I mean, I've, used it, I've used this flower before, not today. I don't want to stick with um, with this protein blend cauliflower and chickpea and lentil grain flour. But I don't know if I have a full two cups. So if I do one out, this is here. Okay, so let me first get, get out my cup measuring. My measuring is... the big bowl over here. So you can see that I'm using a different size of bowl because I have my white ingredients and my dry ingredients. So I think I may have enough for a cup or two. I don't know. Let's just pour that into the cup. Just level it out. Story. I actually have to, my parents force me to make these every weekend because they are, because my parents adore them for these brownies. So, okay. So what I, what I thought would happen, we don't have enough flour to the lower one, so I'm just put all that flour in. Now I take this and just throw it out. And then we take this. I off that, those edges. And a mixture is always good. Mix it up. Now let us push, put that in. That's about two cups alone. With one big chunk filled in. I'm not gonna, just gonna take that one chunk out. Don't use chunks. Chunks are never good. If you have a chunk, just take it out. Um, a lot of time baking. When you're baking something like brownies, um, when so when you when you're baking something that needs to rise, you don't you do need precise um you do need precise stuff. And when you're making something that's, that's not that has egg and and um, milk in that in it, you want to make it precise. You have to make it precise because you have to have the exact right amount of them. Do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my whisk and just take this all around here. And you see, whisk, whisk it all. Yeah, I'm just whisking. And if you can now, what I have to do, and you can see that I'm not doing it. I'm just kind of folding them from the sides and whisking, whisking these two flowers together. If I wasn't using two flowers, I would be always just, I wouldn't have to whisk the flowers together because there's only one flower. But I'm whisking them together because I have, I have two flowers. But I always get it to whisk. I would recommend whisking. Even if you only have one ingredient in there, just whisk it because it gets it finer, finer. So, yeah. Okay, next step is to get our baking soda. So, uh, Tablespoon, we have to do a tablespoon of baking. Uh, no, but I got the wrong thing. <laughs> One second, please. Okay. I 
have no clue where the baking soda is. So my dad's getting the baking soda for me. Because this is just flour. Also cinnamon. Cinnamon and chocolate powder. Yep, you heard me right. Cinnamon and chocolate powder. So we shake that, it's gonna wipe that off. Now, move that away. Again, wait. Now the recipe actually calls for two calls for two tablespoons. So what I'm actually gonna do, and here's the thing that I'm gonna do. So I put in one tablespoon, and now I'm gonna put in a second tablespoon in a different area. Uh, I wanna have it even. Even to even. Boom. And that just fell in. Put that right there. Okay, so, so now I'm just going to whisk that in. Just whisk, 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 whisk. Just keep whisking, never stop. Just take that and just whisk. Always want to whisk. Now, I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And I'll we'll actually what we have next. Next, we have some little chocolate. And I have chocolate, just pieces of chocolate. And I'm actually going to melt these. Now, I never know the, the, the correct amount of time to melt in the, um, in the microwave. But, but Ryan just said, so I'm just going to keep going. Just going to do 30 seconds until I get to the right, until it's melted. So, yeah. I can, I can melt it. I'm sorry, I can just do the microwave. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, just for a very short amount of time. Got it. My dad knows more about microwaves than I do, so I always ask for him, because you should always ask for adults' help. So I'm just a kid. Um, and I'm not implying that um, kids cannot do anything that kids can do. Kids can do some things, kids can do other things. Um, Now we're now we while well, it's melting. Take our little smaller bowl, smaller bowl. Take our smaller bowl. Add a little bit of. Now for this one, you don't really pop it enough. Just you kind of just have to like figure it out with, with, with whatever you're doing. Um, so I like, to, I like to add celery juice. I'm gonna take some celery juice and take this empty bowl. Put something in here. Pour that pour a little bit of celery juice in there because it makes it really healthy. Gives it some, uh, I don't know, gives it some celery in it. Is that melted? Let's see. That is not melted. Okay, so we have our celery juice. Now I'm going to add some maple syrup. Um, sometimes if you want, if you're up for a challenge on make on make on uh, whisking, you can add some, uh, some honey and maple syrup. But always add a little bit of maple syrup. Um, just always add some maple syrup. So yeah, so we have this little. Well, Sorry, me and my dad are having a little side chit chat about this. So let's just mix that up. I think I need like 30 more seconds on here. I might like, actually have 20. Okay, so here. And now we're just gonna kind of take that mixture of celery juice. And we're just gonna use a, use a fork to whisk that. Can't really see it, but yeah, I'm gonna whisk it. Now, here's my fun part. protein powder milkshake kind of thing um, that I sometimes like to make. Um, and it's kind of, you can also use it as like an almond milk. It's a whole almond milk type of, thing, type of deal. Um, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking a little bit of this. And I put, made it in a matcha, in a matcha.com container, which I'm, we're gonna add some matcha later. You don't need to add matcha, and you don't need to add this. Um, but I'm gonna add it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this um, milk. That is like milk protein powder shake something. Take that and mix that up. That gives it a lot of protein. Some protein. Add a little bit more. That's because it's really, it's really good protein. So. No, I'm mean, sorry. My dad asked me if I want protein powder, and I told him no because this recipe doesn't call for protein powder. So, yeah. You keep always, if you ask me, you'll always mix it. And now, here comes the fun part. We take our chocolate, and we just want to take that. Take our no, no, uh, our fork. I you don't have to do this if you. I'm doing this for my family. This for me, my family to eat, and we all. And so I'm just gonna lick the spoon. Get it clean. Yeah, I was propping this thing up on a tissue box, and then I grabbed the tissue. So yeah, just kind of clean that, and then we take our chocolate dip. And we just gotta kind of use that mixed chocolate. Now that it's all chocolate. Then here's the fun part. Let's do this quickly because it's really hot. Just take all that chocolate and you just gotta pour it in. Pour in all that chocolate. Spatula. During this recipe, you always have to use spatulas. Just in during any baking, you should always use spatulas because they may, they might make it look messier, but they get all the food, and you don't want to waste food. If you're gonna waste food, just take that food and just give it to, to, to people who don't have food, like homeless, like people who are homeless. So don't waste the food. We made it, so don't waste it. Waste it. So I'm gonna use all of it. Can. So salvage as much as much of it as I can. Put that inside. It's crazy. Just gonna take that, take that, just take that, and just okay. And So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm just going to take my fish here and just wipe some of that off because sometimes the, because the chocolate is really sticky and it's not, so it's a little hard to get off. <coughs> so, and then I'm going to place that in there. I'm take my fork and I'm just going to mix in the chocolate. Take that chocolate and just mix it in. chocolate you're gonna get a different result so what so I decided to I by accident putting a little too uh, not enough chocolate so I'm just gonna take out my bowl of chocolate because I just realized that I didn't do enough and then set it aside so it's let it dry and then I'm gonna keep mixing this says that definitely takes some time to mix so in case I do have to get some more get some more of the chocolate chip I have it. You get it. So we're just gonna mix all that chocolate in. Mix all that chocolate in. It, so it's kind of like turning. You can see right here. There's like some chocolate on the side. It's gonna happen. So just sort of mix. If you use the right amount of chocolate, 
Um, and we're just like a specific, a specific amount of chocolate because it's all in the protected chocolate. So, um, you want to just put enough chocolate that one at once you mix it, um, all the mixture that you already have in there turns chocolate. So it's like that you don't see any of this mixture anymore. It, you just see chocolate. And then because if you do that, eventually that chocolate will kind of, uh, that whole mixture will kind of turn into like a how you say uh, a like a blending on the word. We put on chocolate on cakes and like cookies. Uh, not topping. I'm blanking on the name. I don't know why. I'm a baker. So I'm gonna take my tissue. I'm just gonna wipe off the outside. Don't want it to be wet. Then take another bit of chocolate. That's enough. Got it. Just gotta place this. I'm gonna start with for 20 seconds and keep, keep mixing this. It gets kind of hard to mix. But you have to mix. Now I'm gonna go back. So. Now what I'm going to do, I have my cinnamon right here, cinnamon, and I'm going to take the one on hot, depending on how much cinnamon you want, you can always change it because this is not like an exact amount recipe, just the only exact amount you need is um, the baking soda and the flour, the rest is fine. I'm gonna put in a little bit of cinnamon, just like that. Now, this next step you don't need to do because like, we're making the chocolate um, dip that can make it a little more cinnamon. This is the chocolate thing that we're mixing. But I always do this because before I may add, before I use it, add it because this recipe is loosely based off another recipe um, where there was no chocolate dip and it, the only liquid was banana. This, this is So I also the chocolatey, a cho using a chocolate powder and a chocolate powder and a chocolate powder, powder and a cinnamon and cinnamon always gives it that nice feel to it. It's a really chocolate. Mix that in. Now, here's my favorite part. We're gonna get matcha. Matcha. <laughs> if you're in the kitchen, you see you sneeze to the side. If you want to sneeze on your things. So next, uh, we can mix this. And we have our matcha. Now I love this part. Three fourths tablespoon. Matcha. Now, most matchas come in like a small little like, container, 
not this, it's not coming from bad. But I have a special type of matcha. This is an energizing blend from matcha.com. It's my favorite. It's made from my matcha latte, but it already has this matcha with the with the milk mixed in, like the milk and the honey and the sweetener and all that with all the with all the matcha latte things mixed in. So if you're gonna do a latte, I would recommend getting this from matcha.com. And I'm actually gonna do two of these. If you want a lot of matcha in this. Matcha is really healthy. Close that. Put it in. Put that back in the fridge. Always store your matcha in the fridge and then take this whisk and mix. Mix in that matcha. Now let's turn back. Go back to the matcha here. And we just really heavy. So it's really cool. Hot. Really hot. Pour in that. You can just see it like slowly. is in so we're just gonna take that and mix that and just mix all that chocolate in and now you can see it's getting a little bit darker well you can't see it but if I just a small bowl and I have the camera at a certain angle so I'm just going to take the rest of our chocolate and just push that in. And get all that chocolate. Wipe this off the tissue. And now we'll take our fork and just mix it all in chunk. So that chunk will be doing this. Mix it. So now I don't know what's gonna happen, it probably won't, but sometimes it turns into like a I'm blaming on how to say this. Here's the magical part. Blend bananas. We're we'll always gonna use bananas in this. Now I don't. You don't. Need, I'm gonna tell you that you don't need bananas. I do use bananas because it's um, bananas really are thick. Make the you're, you're, they make everything you're making thick, very thick. Um, so I would recommend doing banana. If you don't do the banana, it won't be as thick. Or you can take another thickener and do something like that. But I have my banana and just plop banana in there. Take that. And then pop that in as well. And then we use these to, and we're now, then we're going to compost these. So I have my compost pile over here. Take our little lid. And we place that on there. I'm going to blend in a moment. Not right blend yet. Guess what? 
Um, I don't see this getting thicker. Um, it's not as thick as it should be. I think it is a different type. I'm using a different type of chocolate, it's chocolate, so I think what I'm going to do is put my bowl back here. Nope, that's too wet. I can't that there. Uh, one second. Yeah. Do you have any other small bowls that I can use in the next minute? Yeah. That's the same one as the chocolate size? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll get another. I'm going to keep doing a little more whisking. And then we're gonna perfect. Got something like this. Now we're gonna use that. No. Good. That's right. Now you might think we're making we're making a lot right now. Yeah, because this this recipe like makes like twelve brownies. So you're gonna like this. Probably. Now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take this, plop it on the blender, and blend. Cover your, cover your ears. You, it's too loud. I, it's too loud for me, and it's a weird sound. So it, I have very sensitive ears. So I put my ears like this. This is now gonna be it. This is also like what we're using, but I'm not gonna mix it with the chocolate. They have to let the chocolate sit. Um, so, yeah, but how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? So, I make these every weekend, and it's very tiring. Um, there's other ways to do it, but I like to do it this way because it's really fun. And these are also really, really healthy brownies. Like super, super healthy. So I would recommend, I would really recommend making these. They're just really, they're really amazing. Um, and they taste so good. figure out how to do this. Silence. I like the silence. Now I think we're finally on this. Just like that. 
So make sure preheat your oven right now to 400. Okay. I see this is getting a little bit needed. So what I'm actually going to do now is take this guy, banana, and put that in the big bowl. Let's go. Pour that in. So much banana goodiness. That out. Put that in there. How is that starting to look? It's starting to go. So what I'm going to do now, take my whisk and I'm just going to whisk that all together. Just hold the banana in there. Whisk liquid with a dirty liquid with a fork because it always gets stuck in the whisk. So, push all that out. Take it out. We did a good job today. We're not finished yet. Now, to add in the chocolate. Get close there, but we don't have a lot of enough time to let it sit any longer, so I'm just gonna push that down. And mix with the chocolate. Get that chocolate. Flowery, that's fine. You actually want that. Um, so, so now, get all the done. So my dad is gonna get the olive oil for us. I'm gonna keep messing this. center. Then, let's see, something else. This is like a bra. 
brush. So we brush those back. And then brush upward strokes along the sides. So I'm kind of just putting these, putting these brownies in this plate. I'm gonna take my hands. Hands are easier to use. Really good. This, it comes out different. Every time I make this, it comes out different. So always watch out for it. I'm yum. I'm yum. I'm just gonna wipe off my hands. Don't wipe off your hands. Just always want to wipe off your hands. And then I'm going to put these in the oven. For 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna post you. And then I'm gonna once they're out, I'm gonna post the YouTube short showing you guys what they look like afterwards. So let's do this. Let's put that in there. Okay, that's it. That's the big for 15 minutes. See ya.